Hi, I am Peter H. Reynolds, and this is my studio. Uh, a little bit messy, but this is where I do my work, and my thinking, and my dreaming, and my drawing. And this is my book, Happy Dreamer. And Happy Dreamer, published by Scholastic, is really a peek inside of my head growing up. I was a creative uh, a dreamer. So what I've done is I've actually created a little story about a boy who is a dreamer and who is happy and optimistic. And uh, I'm hoping that this book inspires you to be positive and happy and to dream big and to be proud of the way that your brain works. Good luck on your journey and thanks for sharing with me. Take care. Bye. Multi-award winning picture book creator Aaron Blaby brings us a zany laugh out loud story about a pug who learns to share the hard way. In this quirky, hilarious tale, we meet Pig the Pug. Pig is a bit greedy and a little bit selfish too. He hoards all the bones, all the balls, all the chew toys, and he just won't share with his poor friend Trevor. But Pig soon learns the consequences of his selfish ways in this riotous cautionary tale. Blaby's bold and energetic art style and curmudgeon -y character offer young readers a playful twist on this important sharing message. This is the first adventure in a brand new series. Kids are gonna love Pig the Pug. The late Bill Martin Jr. is the author of some of the best loved children's book classics of all time, including Chicka Chicka Boom Boom and Brown Bear Brown Bear. How lucky are we to be publishing Spunky Little Monkey, co-author with Dr. Michael Sampson. And to top it off, it's illustrated with energetic and colorful pictures by the amazing Brian Wan. Sleepy Little Monkey won't get out of bed. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Apple juice, orange juice, gooseberry pie, monkey needs some exercise. Rutabaga, rutabaga, sis, boom, ba. This fun and rhythmic chant based on a favorite clapping game, will have sleepy little monkeys everywhere, wide right awake and ready to start their day. Internationally best-selling picture book author Mem Fox shares a truly delightful tale, a story of this and a story of that, with illustrations by Judy Horacek. Mem Fox is the master of rhyme, rhythm, and repetition, and her lyrical style is pure read-aloud magic. This and That is a fantastical and frolicking picture book story featuring two adorable and adventurous mice who travel through cavernous caves, atop crazy giraffes, and over palace walls until they return safely home to the comfort of their cozy beds. And after the fun, of course, it's time to wind down. It's bedtime. I'll tell you a story of that, and I'll tell you a story of this, and I'll tell you a story of how I adore you, and then I'll give you a kiss. Hi, I'm Carmen Agraditi, and my new book is called The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet. Kiki dee he sings that Spanish onomatopoeia for cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> the little rooster, the character in our story, well, he has a very big problem. He loves to sing. He can't be quiet. He can't help himself. He can't keep from singing. Unfortunately, he has walked into a town where singing is outlawed. And the first time he sings is in a mango tree. And he roosts there just beneath Don Pepe, the mayor's window. Mm. Don Pepe, he is not happy, OK? What is the matter with you? Do you not know there is no singing here? And the rooster says, oh, no singing here. That is a very silly law, senor. And he sings again. And that's how the trouble starts. Things go from bad to worse for our poor rooster. But don't worry. It all turns out all right in the end. Because other people were listening. People who missed singing themselves. This is a story not just about singing, but about having a voice and keeping a voice. And knowing when it's time to be quiet and when it's time to sing. Kiki dee <laughs> Words of wisdom and compassion are paired with stunning illustrations in this companion to the New York Times bestseller, Old Turtle, which celebrates its 25th anniversary this spring. 
In Old Turtle, Questions of the Heart, beloved author Douglas Wood's Tale of Wisdom and Wonder finds its perfect complement in the ethereal and evocative paintings of Greg Ruth, making his scholastic picture book debut. The universal spiritual themes here will have broad appeal, simultaneously delighting fans of the first Old Turtle book while speaking to the concerns of the world today. Tell us, Old Turtle, why are we here? What is the purpose of life? How do we find happiness? Once again, Old Turtle's wise answers offer readers of all ages inspiration, solace, and the most important gift of all, hope. In 1999, Scholastic published Nick Bishop's Red-Eyed Tree Frog, which broke ground by approaching a nonfiction subject, a day in the life of a tiny rainforest frog, like a narrative picture book. Since then, Nick Bishop has gone on to become the name in accessible nonfiction with more than 40 starred reviews. An accomplished photographer and naturalist, now Nick focuses his camera for a close-up look at caring, and sometimes comical, penguin families. In Penguin Day, a family story, Nick Bishop invites us into the world of rockhopper penguins. Rockhoppers live by the sea, but in many ways their families are just like ours. Mama penguin fishes for food, while Papa stays home and watches the baby. But even little ones get tired of waiting, and sometimes they wander off. Luckily, penguin parents always save the day. A perfect read aloud for the youngest audience, with a detailed author's note for budding naturalists, Penguin Day packs in a tremendous amount of information in a deceptively simple text, showing us penguin families are loads of fun. Nicholas John Frith's debut picture book, Hector and Hummingbird, received starred reviews in Kirkus and PW, who called it visually stunning and a terrific debut. Now he's back with a charming new friendship story, Hello, Mr. Dodo. Martha is absolutely cuckoo for birds. In fact, she can identify every bird in her backyard. But she never thought she'd spot a dodo. Aren't they supposed to be extinct? As it turns out, dodos make great friends, and they love donuts. But when Martha's secret gets out and the whole town demands to see her new friend, will Martha have to say goodbye, Mr. Dodo? I love the way Nicholas John Frith's artwork just pops off the page. It's bright, it's cheerful, and full of fun details that reward repeat readings. It's a wonderful twist on a friendship story, and utterly satisfying when Martha's quick thinking saves the day.